Welcome back guys. Uh, today I thought I would um, give you guys some information on a few things that happened to me over the weekend. Um, one is I, w I normally uh, ha have been for quite some time now been using Manjaro for my daily driver and and I've gone into the reasons behind it many times in my videos. I've done many, many positive, glowing vi uh, videos about Manjaro Linux. On Sunday, the 2nd, Manjaro released an update. My uh, little curse, my little uh, icon turned red in the taskbar and had a couple of updates, both related to Manjaro. And so I went ahead and updated. Now, I had not seen in the announcements on the forum um, a, a statement that they were advising people to to use the terminal to do the update and so I went ahead and updated um, using the GUI and when I rebooted my system it went to a black screen with a cursor in the top left corner I uh, looked around and I found some instructions on the Manjaro site and I was able to recover with a um, a Nouveau driver um, and so I started doing some research and I found that there were some uh, problems with the Mesa stack that created problems for some users evidently it's a lot of users um, because I've seen some other situations online where the same thing has happened and so I said you know what let me try uh, Antergos so I loaded Antergos I installed Antergos and everything was okay that was on Sunday so on Monday uh, I used Antergos on Tuesday I used Antergos Last night, Antergos had an update, and I ran the update. It didn't say anything. Uh, it wasn't a similar update to the Manjaro update, so I ran the update, and lo and behold, it broke my system. Again, black screen, cursor in the left. So I went ahead and said, you know what, I like Arch Linux. So let me go ahead and um, use the Revenge installer to install Arch Linux. I'll pick my desktop and I should be good to go. Not the case. Evidently, the problem is, is with Arch. What baffles me, and the reason I'm not using Arch or Manjaro or Anturgos at this point. What baffles me is that it could get released through Manjaro and through Anturgos, which are both supposed to have some checks and balances in between what Arch releases and what the community sees as an update. So I don't understand how it could be released in the first place. If it was an isolated instance and it only affected one or two people, okay, sometimes things happen, right? But the fact that this was a negative to so many people makes absolutely no sense to me. And if that situation exists and is going to remain, then how can anybody rely on Arch as a daily driver? As, as, I mean, if you have to check with the Manjaro website to see announcements telling you that maybe that you should upgrade a certain way, then you know what? Maybe you shouldn't be using Arch. Maybe you shouldn't be using Manjaro it's uh, not a for me it's not a good situation now could I get around it absolutely but it's not 
it, it's just not a viable situation for a daily operating system. It really isn't. So I had a, a decision to make. I needed to decide which uh, operating system, which flavor of Linux I wanted to use as a daily driver. And I decided on Ubuntu Mate because everything just works. It works properly. I don't have to worry about uh, updates being released that are going to break my system. Uh, and this applies to any Ubuntu variation. Now, I chose Ubuntu Mate 17.04 because you see all my game icons on the left. Everything runs. So I don't have to worry about games or Wine or, or play on Linux or Steam. I don't have to worry about any of that running. It just runs properly. So I went ahead and installed um, Ubuntu Mate, which the, the install went perfectly. But as I said, I tried to install uh, Arch with the Re Revenge installer. I tried to install Manjaro probably five times. The installations just will not boot. It's absolutely crazy. This, whatever it, this update is doing, it's affecting even new installs. Now, I didn't try to install with um, just the free drivers. Um, I I tried to install with non-free. Maybe it would be okay with the free drivers. I'm not going to go there because I want to use my NVIDIA graphics card. So that's, that's a, a deal breaker for me. So basically it boils down to needing something that I can depend on every day that's not going to break my system with an update. And right now I'm going to be using um, Ubuntu Mate. Now on this particular computer I have Debian testing set up working perfectly uh, and I have Ubuntu 1704 with the Unity desktop that's working perfectly. I tried to install Manjaro on another petition I went through the install today I think three times trying to get Manjaro Mate to work it won't boot. I get all, I get kernel panics. It's and I don't know I don't know what the correct workaround is and at this point I really don't care. Um, if it's not something that I can install, this has been going on since Sunday. This is crazy. So I'm not going to live with that situation. Uh, any longer. Does that mean I won't go back to Arch? Not at all. I may go back. Once this problem is resolved, I may load up Arch and run Arch. Will I use it as my daily driver? Not for quite some time. And I couldn't recommend it as a daily driver. I couldn't recommend any Arch derivative, whether it be Antergos, Manjaro, Plain Arch, um, any any Arch spin, I can't recommend. That might change in the future, but for right now, guys, if you're looking for an operating system that's just going to run every day and not blindside you with a complete failure, then I would have to recommend uh, either a Debian or an Ubuntu uh, derivative and for me um, I would use either Ubuntu or Zubuntu with XFCE. Uh, actually I love Lubuntu uh, but if it was for a daily driver it's a little bit bare bones. So guys that is it for this video just an update um, and some concern on my part I don't want to see Manjaro go down the tubes uh, and I'm hoping that they could find a way around this. They're supposed to be the intermediary for Arch. 
supposedly the the up arch updates because they are a bit volatile uh, supposedly Manjaro was supposed to be the go-between looking out for the end user keeping an eye on things why they would release an update that would completely break so many user systems is beyond me but hey you know maybe the answer that I, I saw some answers from the forum saying well that's arch well <laughs> That's not Arch for me. So, guys, that is it for this video. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for stopping by the channel today, and I will see you soon. Take care.